Hello and welcome to this quick recap of Community Conversations Workshop 3, Communities as Change Agents. Um, today, we are just going to tell you a little bit about who we are. This is us, uh, Participate, and we are Open and Cooperative. Um, and we have been making some, some short workshops um, just to help people get better at building communities. So in this workshop, we started by um, sort of helping people introduce themselves, of course, but also to think a little bit about what they want to see change in the world. Um, and then, you know, we went through introducing um, the Open Recognition is for Everybody community, going through the two loops model, having a look at systems convening, and then we did some Q&A. So this video is going to focus pretty much just on those um, first couple of parts. Obviously, it's a video, so we're not going to do some Q&A. Um, but by the end of it, hopefully, you will be able to uh, understand the two loop model. You'll understand the seven areas of systems convening, be able to apply it to your own work. Um, and if you've watched the other couple of videos, you will be able to um, see the relationships between value cycles, maturity systems, and convening systems. Um, there's no stupid questions, and if you want to ask questions in response to the video, please check out the Open Recognition is for Everybody community on the Participate platform. Um, so we started by talking a little bit about what is a community of practice. Um, a community of practice is a group of people who um, share the same concerns, share the same passions, and they want to interact around a particular domain or area together in community to work towards change. So they're sharing experiences um, and, and information, knowledge sharing, and they're doing this in community. Um, so the open recognition is for everybody community. You can get to it really easily from badges.community. Um, and it's a place where the people who are interested in open recognition are interacting with others who are interested in uh, communities of practice. I mean, those interests kind of cross each other. So in this community, um, everybody is welcome. It is open for everyone. And um, one of the big things that we talk about is how important open recognition is inside of a community. And if you haven't heard of open recognition before, um, go to badges.community and there's a bunch of signposts to help you learn what exactly that means and to find the resources to start implementing it in your community. Um, but today we're gonna talk about convening systems. So convening systems work. Um, is has a couple of different theoretical underpinnings. And we start with the two loops model. Um, there's a great video that gives you a more in-depth view of this model. Um, but just really quickly, the idea is that in society, we have dominant systems and we have emerging systems. So everything has a life cycle. Any system that e exists um, grows and changes and becomes the dominant system. And then at some point it starts to decline. And as a um, dominant system is de uh, declining, an emerging system is growing to, to try and take its place. Um, and so this is what's called the two loops model. Now, from the open recognition perspective, um, a, a way to imagine this two loops model is to think about what old school credentials look like. So on paper, diplomas, on paper degrees, um, you know, what we've been using for a couple hundred years in order to verify the skills and knowledge that people have developed. And then we think about what does the emergent system look like, open recognition. So in uh, 2023, when we're recording this video, um, there is tons of technology that allows us to recognize more about a particular person's um, behaviors, social skills, all of these things. So open badges is a really um, good example of an emerging system. And those innovations under the blue arrow are um, other other innovations in this space. So the idea is, as we develop open recognition in the world, old school credentials will start to decline as being the dominant system. And hopefully someday we live in a world where it's not just the credential you have hanging on your wall, but rather a, a robust system of community recognition that helps people in their lives. 
So the next thing we did in the workshop was we did a little bit of an exercise here and we talked about what kind of dominant systems other people are working within. Um, and we saw a lot of great examples. We saw um, political systems that people think are the dominant system that's starting to change um, and you know things around, around really specific systems in terms of like housing resources and how a dominant system say using a technology like um, I don't know, Google Drive could be replaced by an emerging system like a wiki uh, where you don't have to um, deal with the sharing features. So there's a lot of ways to look at what a system actually is and you can go quite, um, you can really go into it. Um, so systems convening is about bringing together people, um, different people that are working in those emergent systems um, and helping them to facilitate the kinds of conversations um, that will push an emergent system further along. So there's a lot of different contexts for systems convening um, and you can find all of these in the Social Learning Labs uh, site. It's at bit.ly slash systems convening. You can learn a lot more about this. Um, but we're particularly focused in convening systems through community development. Um, so these are the seven steps of uh, systems convening, and this is kind of hard to see, hard to read. And so in the open recognition is for everybody community, we just tried to make it a little bit more graphic. Um, so the kinds of um, the, the seven system steps are to start with narrative work and you craft a convening call. Um, legitimacy work, so getting people involved who can help you grow the sphere of influence. Boundary work, so working across silos. So for example, open recognition is for everybody, works across higher education, um, volunteer communities. We're, we really wanna make sure that open recognition is part of community development. So that's across silos. Identity work is helping people to gain the mental model of what the old credentialing system looks like and what the new one could look like. Um, agency work is developing communities that allow people to, to act and have agency. Um, power work is dealing with the power structures within a dominant system. And narrative work at the end, the seventh step, is to actually share what's, what's happened, articulate the value. So these are some of the steps of what it looks like in practice. Um, so things like building trust by talking to people one-on-one -on -one or showing that you understand what people care about. Um, these, are, these are things that you do within community that is the work of systems convening. So in the open recognition is for everyone com community. Um, we had steps that looked like this and we got really specific and we also recognize people for doing this kind of systems convening work. So for example, in legitimacy, um, one of the rec pieces of recognition that we have is called the OG Badger Badge and it is a badge for people who have been involved in the alternative system of open recognition for a long time. Um, Things like agency work, uh, allowing members, not allowing, but, but giving members, empowering members, there's a word I want to use, empowering members to explicitly influence the community di uh, direction by making sure that people are involved and that you have a flat hierarchy so that um, everybody can, can offer their skills and talents. Um, so the next thing that we did in the workshop was we uh, talked about what this kind of systems convening work looks like for everyone. Um, so how you can think about what it looks like in your community. Um, and then, of course, we had a great discussion. Um, people asked lots of questions. And um, we stuck around for a little while so that if anybody wanted to continue to noodle on what convening systems means in their specific context, they had somebody to, to talk to and, and think about. We also have a badge at bit.ly slash system change dash badge. So if you go back and look at these slides, um, and, and you know, read the ones that have a lot of text on them and reflect on what systems convening or the two loops model looks like for you, you're very welcome to go and earn that badge. These conversations took place in Zoom and we made sure that people have access to the slides. So if you go to bit.ly slash convening dash systems, you will find the slides that I just ran you through. Thanks so much for watching and be sure to check, check out the other videos from the community.
uh, community conversations workshops.